hello dear students this video is related to circle properties we will discuss all circle properties one by one and then we will solve these two questions using circle properties here comes first property and uh, it says that if we have two equal chords you know that a straight line which joins two points or on circumference of the circle is called chord there are two points on circumference of the circle if we join these two points we will have a chord this straight line is called chord of the circle this is chord and this is another chord this chord is ab and this chord is cd now this property says that if two chords are equal it means that both chords will be equid equidistant from uh, center of the circle it means that the perpendicular distance the perpendicular distance of uh, this chord from center of the circle and the perpendicular distance of this chord from center of the circle these two distances will be equal let's suppose this is point x and this is point y so this property says that if ab is equal to cd it means that ox will be equal to oy similarly we can also say that if two chords are equidistant from center of the circle it means that both chords are equal and uh, now this is second property you have a circle and uh, this is an arc length you know that the part of uh, circumference of the circle is called an arc length <coughs> now let's suppose that this is the angle which is subtended by this arc ab at center of the circle let's suppose this angle is x and let's suppose this is angle y this is the angle which is subtended by same arc at circumference of the circle now there is a relationship between both angles that x will be equal to 2y it means that the angle which is subtended by an arc length at center of the circle will be double of the angle which is subtended by same arc at the uh, circumference of the circle for example if uh, this angle is 88 degree and we are supposed to find this angle then this angle will be equal to 44 degree and one more property that uh, if same arc length is making some angles at circumference of the circle all angles will be equal we can have these uh, angles like this like this let's suppose this is angle x and this is angle y now we can see that this angle x is made by angle is made by arc length ab and similarly angle y is also made by arc length ab we have three angles at circumference this angle this angle x and this angle y these three angles are subtended at circumference of the circle by same arc which is ab so all these three angles will be equal and uh, we can also discuss uh, this circle property like uh, in terms of major arc ab is a minor arc we can also discuss this in terms of a major arc let's suppose you have a circle and uh, this arc x y this is a major arc this is center of the circle this is a major arc because it is greater than half circumference so this is a major arc and this arc is subtending two angles like this this arc is subtending two angles let's suppose this is angle p and this is angle q so angle p and angle q will be equal here because both angles are made by same arc x y now next property it's about uh, segment of the circle if you have a circle and this is chord of a circle ab is chord because it is joining two points ab at a circumference of the circle so this is a chord 
okay if a chord make if a chord make two angle makes two angle this is angle one and this is angle two let's suppose this is angle one and this is angle two now if a chord makes two angles at circumference of the circle in opposite segments like this chord is dividing this circle in two segments this is minor segment and this is major segment so this chord is making two angles at circumference of the circle if we have this type of condition then both angles will be supplementary angles it means the sum of both angles will be equal to 180 degrees now uh, but remember one thing that uh, these angles are made by a chord if you have a straight line within a circle and that that straight line is making some angles at circumference of the circle then this condition will not be valid this condition will be valid only in two cases that the angles are made by chord and all angles are made at circumference of the circle next property that uh, it is uh, a very useful property if we have a diameter diameter is also a chord because it also joins two points at circumference of the circle but diameter it's uh, it is a special type of chord which is passing through center of the circle so if you have a diameter ab if this diameter makes an angle at the circumference of the circle this angle is always a right angle it is always equal to 90 degree similarly we can also have another angle this is an angle which is made by diameter at circumference of the circle this is also 90 degree so any angle at circumference of the circle at circumference of the circle made by diameter of a circle is always equal to 90 degree now uh, we will discuss last property of a circle it's about tangent if we have a circle like this we have a circle and uh, we have a point P which is outside the circle now from this point we can draw only two tangents to these this circle this is tangent 1 uh, let me modify this diagram now uh, this is tangent 1 because it is touching this circle only at one point and this is tangent 2 If you have uh, two tangents drawn from a point which is outside the circle, both tangents will be equal. Let's suppose this is point A and this is point B. In this case, PA will be equal to PB. So both tangents drawn from outside the po point to the circle are always equal. And second thing, the radius of a circle at a particular point is always perpendicular to the tangent similarly this radius is also perpendicular to tangent of the circle and second thing third no third thing first thing was that both tangents will be equal second thing was that radius is perpendicular to the tangent now this is third thing in this property that uh, a straight line which joins center of the circle to the point which is outside the circle this straight line which will always bisect this angle if this is x and this is y these two angles will always be equal angle x will be equal to angle y so it's all about circle properties now we will uh, discuss these two problems one by one Okay, we can see here that uh, this angle is 140 degree and uh, we can see that this angle is made by arc AB. This arc AB is making an angle of 140 degree at center of the circle. So look at this angle. This is same angle. This is angle made by same arc AB at uh, circumference of the circle. So we have discussed a property that if we have an angle made by an arc length and center of the circle, that angle will be double of the angle made at circumference of the circle made by same arc. So this angle will be equal to 70 degree. And we can see that uh, this angle 
because these two angles are angled at a single point and uh, if you have angles uh, if you have angles at a single point sum of all angles will be equal to 360 degrees so we can calculate this angle <coughs> this angle will be equal to 220 degree this angle will be equal to 220 degree and uh, we can see that a b c a o b c it is a quadrilateral and uh, sum of all angles in a quadrilateral is always equal to 360 degree so this angle is 220 degree plus this angle is 30 plus this angle is 70 and this we are supposed to find this angle let's suppose this is y we need to find angle y and then we need to find angle x plus y this will be equal to 360 degree from here we can calculate y 360 minus 220 minus 30 minus 70 so that will be equal to 40 degree so y will be equal to 40 degree and we can calculate this angle using same method we know that uh, ob and oa both are radii of the circle and radius is always perpendicular to the tangent so this angle will be 90 degree and this angle will be 90 degree so if we sum up all angles x 90 140 and 90 that will give 360 so we can calculate x here now this is very very interesting problem uh, this angle abc is uh, 70 degree and these two angles angle ade and angle a c d these two angles are equal we need to find these angles this is angle x and this is angle y we need to find these two angles so first of all we will try for x now one thing is important here that a b is diameter so this angle will be equal to 90 degree because diameter always makes 90 degree angle at circumference so and this angle is 70 degree you know that this angle is 70 degree so we need to find x here now one more thing that look at this arc cd this cd r is making an angle here let's suppose this is angle p so this angle is also p because this angle is also made by same arc cd and uh, one more thing that let's suppose this is angle q so this angle will all also be equal to q because ad is making this angle which is q so ad is making same angle at circumference of the circle and now we can see that angle p plus q is equal to 70 degree if this is q this is also q we have seen here that p plus q is equal to 70 degree so p plus q will be equal to 70 degree if we subtract 180 from 70 we will have uh, 180 minus 70 Th this angle will be equal to 110 this angle will be equal to 110 now because these two angles are vertically opposite angles so x will be equal to 110 so this is our first part now uh, we can calculate this angle y because this is a quadrilateral this is a quadrilateral so in a quadrilateral we have three angles this is angle 110 this is angle 90 this is angle 70 if we subtract these three angles from 360 we will have this angle which will be equal to 90 degree 